Once, time moved gently in this land of lakes, rivers, and forests. Here, the Indians paddled tracelessly and blazed intricate trails along the lay of the land. They were always moving, surviving, being true to their nomadic ways. When the Europeans arrived to this new world, as they called it, they followed the Indians' trails. and in time develop trails of their own. But these trails followed a straight line and were built for speed and profit. Today, as you travel along modern highways, sealed from the outside world in your automobile, it's easy to lose touch with the land and the many ways you can enjoy, appreciate, and learn from it. When the rumble of the highway fades behind you, ahead lies nothing but the forest, offering a chance to relive the old ways of travel in the remains of a wilderness which once entirely covered this land. on my shoulder and every trip another rip my pack is getting older first two times are always worst my feet are the first to complain after I'm broken in wearing my summer skin well I go again and again along the hiking trail The first step in making a trail is to take a contour map and uh, draw a route on it showing the lakes that you would like to hit. The next step is to take aerial photographs of the area, study them to see if the route that you've planned on your contour map is feasible. The next step of course is to go out to the area with your flagging tape, flag the route that you desire, rewalk that route, change it minorly if you think it needs it, and then go through and cut the route that you've chosen. Where you cut the route will depend on the terrain you're going through, whether it's thick brush, open rock, or uh, a light hemlock type of forest. Campsites uh, usually are close to water and in a nice open area with a, a good ground covering and an open rock for a fireplace. Uh, when we're building a new trail, we try to utilize any portions of old trails that we may come across. It may be an old logger's road, or it may be a trapper's portage that he's used before, sort of grown in and We'll just recut it out. Old abandoned railroad track, rotting ties, rusted steel, patches of grass, lifeline of hundreds for so many years. Old abandoned log 
broken road, worn out and broken from the weight of the load. Lifeline of hundreds for so many years, so many years. along those trails with the right equipment and the proper instruction I feel I can go almost anywhere and at any time of the year When we're driving long distances, we always try to stop for a while for a bit of a hike. Feels good to get off the highway. Our families walk many parts of the Bruce Trail, the Ganaraska, the Old Porcupine, and the Rideau, as well as those in Algonquin Park and Killarney. For me, trails are exciting because I feel a sense of exploration and discovery. A bit like being a little kid again, I guess. There's a story around every trail that you take. Some you discover and some you create Gotta slow down to understand When you're looking through glass you can't feel the land Feel the land 